cup, half-witted, scruffy-looking Nerf Herder. Hey everyone, Nerf Herder here. I have another video I want to pump out, which will be updated Saber video. I got plenty of videos planned for the next two to three weeks. I've got quite a bit that I want to go ahead and knock out. I'm going to have a lot of sound font reviews. Well, I've got a bunch of Lord Blaco sound fonts. He reached out to me recently. I was so stoked. Yes, of course. A huge fan of Lord Blaco's sound fonts. He's been updating them to Smooth Swing and they're just awesome. I was a huge fan of them back when, uh, before Smooth Swing on legacy style boards and I had all, all of them and I loved them. I'm going to be doing, this is also kind of a little update, I guess, for the channel. I will be doing a bunch of sound font reviews from K-Sith, from Force, Force Effects, from Repulse, from Kyberphonic, every one of the font makers that I have, uh, collected from <laughs> and then I will also be doing commission reviews and then some of these updated Saber video reviews so stick around today's video I wanted to do one that y'all have seen quite a bit I get asked a lot of questions on this one probably the most amount of questions I get asked on is my scrap tech lightsaber that I did this one I used a lot for sound font reviews it's loud it sounds great it's one of my favorites in my collection as far as a fully customized piece. And uh, we'll, do, we'll dive into what makes a scrap deck a scrap deck. <laughs> Make some people mad. <laughs> this Saber, uh, the reason I wanted to do this video, to take a break from, I have sound font reviews a lot and you know unboxing reviews and whatnot. I'm gonna do a another dedicated Saber video. And the reason why I wanted to go ahead and get this one out is because I will be demoing a lot of those sound fonts on this Saber. We'll be seeing this one quite a bit. And then of course I'm loving demoing sound fonts on my Augustin style flagship. These are two of my my babies in my collection. Real quick, um, I know some people are gonna wanna just see this thing cut up and light on. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit before we play with it. So the Scrap Tech is a bit of a controversial name for this design lightsaber. See, I got like this one I'm working on too which hopefully is turning into something, something cool. Kind of a little baby brother of that one. So, a long time ago, I made my first custom of any kind. It was a Corbanth 2.0 kit that got locked. It was This was a Graflex 2.0 that was, I mean, it was Empire Strikes Back looking configuration. I had a crystal chamber reveal that I was gonna do, and while putting this body on it, thread locked. And I was like, oh no, I don't have I won't be able to do a crystal reveal chassis. This thing is just a, a junk sa static saber. Maybe I'll do something with it someday. So this is about maybe four years ago, almost five. It's been a while. And I decided to just try my hand at customizing a hilt. And I was like, I really love the, the TFU2 Force Unleashed style lightsaber hilt, right? This is the new Rogue Commander. I put my leather grip on it. Oh, I love this thing. So I was like, all right, I want to do a design like that with, with this. Cut the shroud, slid it up. Slid the uh, control box up, put this on here, leather wrapped the body, and I was like, cool, it looks great, and I loved it. Posted it on the page, and somebody was like, hey man, um, so there's a Scrap Tech Aficionados page, which I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to go and see if you can be a member of that uh, group. And I posted this on there because I was like, it's like a Scrap Tech, and someone was like, uh, it's a little more Scrap Flex, and I was like, Scrap Flex? I don't know what a Scrap Flex right. is. Again, very controversial on what a Scrap Tech and a Scrap Flex is. It's kind of confusing in, in, its, in its own right. So it has, a Scrap Flex has more um, of a design influences of a Graflex uh, with like control box and, and whatnot. So, but with a Scrap Tech, um, apparently, it is a Graflex, and this was originally designed by Solos Hold. I'm Aaron at Solos Hold and Darth Alice. They did their designs of, uh, of their Scrap Techs, which was the, the first few. This is all to my knowledge. It has a Graflex top that doesn't go that far. It kind of, the Graflex emitter is very, very short. It's not a long Graflex emitter. Then you have a long leather wrap body and a Solos Hold TFU2, Force Unleashed 2 style pommel. And that is your scrap tech. Now mine has a little bit more Coda influence with the top wrap. And I put my Cobalt with the clamp card 
in there to kind of give it a little flair. And then, of course, the red capuchon that I love. I'm a huge fan of these capuchons. I've been throwing them in everything I can. Uh, different sizes, whatever I can find. I'm like, these are great for green. I love them. I love them so much. So, yeah, this is considered a scrap tech. It passed it passed the, uh, the scrap tech qualifications on that page. Whereas something like this would be considered more of a scrap flex, which we have a scrap saber showcase. A uh, group that my friend Dylan, Joss, and I uh, created just to show off any of your scrap builds because that's another thing I'm going to get at real quick. So this is all scrap junk to make this scrap flex. And this is all scrap junk to make scrap tech. See, they are slightly different, but I think that's the general consensus of what a scrap tech lightsaber is. Short Graflex emitter top, long. I got this little thing right here I just kind of threw it on there I, I, I kind of like it it adds a little to me but a long long leather body and so this whole pommel so essentially it's like it's like that yeah I'll show a picture of the original keeping in with scrap parts scrap everything I did all of this from my junk my junk drawer that I had this saber including the chassis is literally junked parts except for the solo sold pommel. I had to get the solo sold pommel from solo sold. Um, one of my favorite pommels. It's so beautiful. Just a great design. It's a it's a little it's a little on the pricey side, but it's uh it's it, it makes the design for me. And once you weather it too, it pops, man. Okay, so this is the MHS body. I believe it's a six inch body, and then I have an MHS. Um, piece underneath here, uh, sleeve material right under here to give the raised portion of the last bit of the grip. I have a little bit of sleeve material right here to give that a little something. Then I have a uh, Corbanth 2.0 Graflex top that I cut. Blade holder, I'm not exactly sure because I got it from a scrap graphlex part it looks like an old tgs style maybe it's a one inch blade holder and um i modified a piece of mhs adapter to the blade holder so it's bolted down and, and um jb welded to the blade holder so the blade holder in this threaded section um it's not going anywhere it's solid but i don't do with this thing anyways this is a show saber for me and then all these pieces this is a TCSS speaker pod, and then this is uh, some kind of 3D printed holder from Goth, and then this is a, uh, was it 5260 printing? It's a uh, holder for a recharge port, and that seats up in there. The wiring is all kinds of not pretty, <laughs> so it went everywhere. This is my very first CFX install that I did about over, almost a, over a year ago, however long the CFX has been out. So I was like, I don't care about the wiring. I was, It's mine. I was like, I want to get right to playing with this thing. And um, yeah, man, I didn't, uh, <laughs> I can see now too. You get better as you go. <laughs> um, I just went to town on, why. Uh, there's just no wire, system, wire management on it. It's ugly, but also in the same sense, I don't care because it's mine and it works. I'll clean it up one of these days. So I got a battery, recharge port, speaker, and then oh yeah, and this is the body. MHS and then NeoPixel connectors from TCSS. I got long pins, which I really love. I think it kind of sets it off, makes it different. Long pins, glass eye, copachone, plunger from this is a TGS, the custom saber shops, red thumb screw plunger that goes to I have a micro tack on the core on the blade holder and that presses down into that. And then I have a tactile drilled out through one of these, and that is your auxiliary. Accessing Imperial Records. I sense much fear in you. The dark side I sense in you. Kyberphonic fonts, little green friend. I just, I love this font so much. Oh, such 
good resonance in this saber. That's why I love using it for sound point reviews. <laughs> This has my updated CFX that I um, I did recently. I did my corn horn, my CFX on this. I did a, quite a couple of them, uh, which I'm going to do videos on. This guy has been probably featured the most on this channel, and a lot of people ask me about it, and I'm like, yeah, it's the first video I did. Scroll down to the very first video that's terrible. That was way before I even decided to do a YouTube video, a YouTube channel. I, I made that video for just people on Facebook groups, and then I was like, oh, you know what, let's make a YouTube channel. And then thus, Nerf Herder Customs. You're welcome. No, um, let's put a blade in this real quick and swing it around. I'll show a couple fonts and show you the updated blade effects that I like about the new update. Show you the new blade effects that I have been enjoying from the new updated CFX. Again, I don't really need that much. This just gives me a couple extra base flare ignition, different blaster bolts, you know, tip drag, localized lockup, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> So many sound fonts on here. I think it's like 72 or 76. Vega. Love this font. You underestimate my power. This is the chosen one by K Sith, and I love the way this font sounds. <laughs> That red looks great. That quick white flash. <laughs> I love that so much. Another of my favorite Vaders. This is the classic villain by Fours. Fours effects. Don't make me destroy you. I'll be doing the sequel villain here in a bit, which is Force Effects Kylo Ren. So 
there we go. I made a blade plug I made with a Graflex pin and a razor. Turned out really cool. Just sounds so good. I love it. So there we go. This is my scrap tech lightsaber build updated cfx uh one of my all-time favorite hilts that i've made it's comfortable to hold i mean it's it feels so good in the hands it's loud it's my baby it's my baby but yeah um for those of you out there if you guys are interested in building a scrap tech there's the page scrap tech aficionados and there's also something very special in the works because okay look a lot of the things that we've been building scrap flexes out of in the community are a lot of times the core band 2.0 kit or the 2.5 and those were discontinued when parks and core band split uh, parks used designed the kit and then they mass produced it so when the two of them went their separate ways core band is now partnered with 89 sabers which i can't say enough good things about i love 89 sabers they make really good hilts with an installer's ease of install in mind and um so that's gone, and we've all been using the ones that are out in the wild to get it done. This one I made out completely of... Hold on, this is too long. i got to trim it. <laughs> this one I've made completely out of MHS parts. I wanted to see how well I could do a Scrap Tech or Scrap Flex from the Custom Saber Shops pieces. So this is a emitter, which is actually how the original Scrap Tech that Aaron did was made, I believe, was from one of these. But he cut the holes here, put some kind of system where he had bunny ears, and then he had a smaller switchblade. I just went for something, whatever, and I still gotta, I'm still going to add something over here. You have this, and then you have... Disregard this. Then you have a body, and then a pommel down at the bottom. I don't have a solo told pommel for this one. I just used, again, what I had. And... Turning out pretty good. So yeah, this is my MHS attempt at a scrap tech design. Which again is not extremely identical to what Aaron and Darth Alice did with their scrap tech designs. But I thought it was a pretty pretty fun attempt at making one with what I could. Very fun. So if you guys are wanting to jump in, make one of these yourself, like I was saying, uh, my buddy TJ Wells, awesome dude, um, Ignition Saber Company. He is making one. There's So there's uh, blade holders that you can get for Graflex tops, which are from like TGS or Solos Hold, um, a couple different people. And they generally have a, um, a pre-drilled hole lineup for uh for 440 rods for chassis for like you know you see a lot of graph flexes with the chassis um coming down tj is working on a system to make an adapter that lines up to the blade holder the one inch blade holder so you can put on so you can thread on a mhs the custom saber shop threaded size body on and then the solos hold pommel is mhs uh, compatible so that's just a perfect system to, to make this so essentially you can make this exact same thing out of those pieces you just need to get the graflex top and the sh and and the blade holder and one of his adapters the body the pommel and then customize it as you see oh yeah look at that and i just this is again guys this is one of my favorites so, and then this leather, I didn't even talk about the leather, <laughs> sorry. Leather is from, I got a sheet of lambskin leather, which I hydrated and weathered myself to make it look old and used. I cut the strip uneven, so it's fat pieces here and there, skinny pieces. I wanted it to look just not pretty. <laughs> I wanted it to look like a piece of junk, but honestly, it turned out to be a uh, very comfortable way to do it. The grip is very, very comfortable. There's a lot of cushion in it, and I, and I take that. All right, guys, so that'll do it for this one. Uh, I will be pumping out a lot of sound font 
reviews with this saber as well as some others so get ready for a ton of videos i'm about to marathon this and get you get ready to see me in like the same clothes and be like wait wasn't he wearing the last video i'm about to film a bunch of videos all in one go all right guys that'll do it for me thank you so much for watching again stick around i got more content coming out i really appreciate you guys appreciate the support and all kind words in the comment sections uh, it makes it makes it fun for me to see everyone leave a comment and spark up some conversation and uh, i really appreciate that so until next time till the next video may the force be with you who's scruffy looking <laughs>